hello viewers welcome to my channel today's video is about a part of global supply chain management when using air freight versus ocean freight i have used uh, materials that i learned in the mitx micromasters course for supply chain management in edx platform i will use microsoft excel to show how we can choose between air freight and ocean freight if you are interested in learning Microsoft Excel, you can check the right side corner of your screen and also Google Sheet tutorials in the description link. Let me first show you some photos of Airfreet and Ocean Freight from the MITx course under the MIT Center of Transportation and Logistics. And then we will move on to a detailed demonstration of when we to use air freight versus ocean freight and how we can decide this video will help you make a template in excel to compare the freight costs please stay with me until end of the video and like subscribe my channel here we can see different type of pallet which are using used for air cargo one is a loaded play pallet air car and another is air cargo pallet or cookie sheet another one we can see here belly container all different design to fit in various airplane uh, this uh, belly container made that's the reason their the shape and uh, size always different depend on airplane let's see some ocean fit here we can see one ship is a ROO ship it's a call actually a roll on and roll up ship then a well tanker BLCC a very large good carrier it's a chemical carrier here is another one is a dry bulk ship and last one is a LNG ship it's a liquidified natural gas carrier the main reason for showing these photos is that you might get a brainstorm about air freight and ocean freight in the global supply chain. Here is the basic difference between air freight and ocean freight. This slide is from MIT Center for Transportation and Logistics. The basic about air freight we can see here very reliable, expensive, what is most important. 1 to 3 days transit time and also pollution is very high. For ocean freight not reliable, cheaper, volume is most important factor, 5 to 40 days transit time and pollution much lower. Let's get back to our main topic. When should you use air freight versus ocean freight? How can we decide? Well here we have a question about a ABC company who has just launched a new mobile phone and they are going to shift their thousand units from the Ningbo, China to Los Angeles, California. Their goods weight is 4.87 ounce or 0.304375 pound. Here we have uh, air free trade and ocean free trade in CWT. It's a standardized uh, unit. It's also called 100 uh, weight or one CWT is equal 100 pound. And we have inventory cost 15% per year. Here inventory cost is very important because lead time for the ocean freight and air freight is different. So if you have a long lead time, you need to maintain more inventory cost to compare the air freight cost and the ocean freight cost you can see in the screen we will follow these three formula it's, it's actually basically main formula is uh, freight cost plus inventory cost which is the total cost for the delivery freight cost will find total weight of goods multiplied by freight rate and inventory cost will uh, total cost price of goods Ocean transit time by C65 because this uh, inventory cost we have so 15% yearly and also uh, multiply inventory carrying cost. Here we write uh, ocean transit time but uh, it should be a uh, transit time by 365 for ocean and airfield both. Okay, what we have here 
here already have quantity and weight of goods total weight of goods and after conversion it will be 3.04373 wt total cost price of goods 700 into 1000 units so we got the cost price and we need to check here have a airpeed cost and ocean feet cost and we need to input the formula for the excel the calculation and we will get the result here and we follow these all formulas i input the formulas into microsoft excel they are not complicated they all the summation subtraction multiplication addition if you have an issue with the Microsoft Excel formula input, you can check the description link for my 2 minute Microsoft Excel program as well as you can follow my screen activities. First of all, we will input formula for air feed cost and inventory cost and, uh, and also wash and feed cost and inventory cost. Then we will uh, calculate the total. We divided by 365 because the, our inventory cost is nearly 15% so we need to convert our all units the same. We will input a Microsoft Excel formulas for ocean feed cost also the same as air feed cost. You can follow the skin activities to understand. Now we are going to input the formulas for calculating the total costs. Well, we are now all set. All formula input has done. Now we are going to make it as a template for our daily use or whenever we necessary, we can use it in our feed cost analysis whenever necessary.
obviously we can see here the freight cost air freight cost is lower than the ocean freight cost though ocean freight rate is lower for the transit time and in it will increase the inventory cost and that's why it may costlier than air freight Well, you can check here for different inventory cost uh, also freight cost uh, differ I believe uh, you can use it whenever you necessary to change these uh, values and uh, get the result I believe this video might help full for your freight cost calculation please subscribe my channel and click the bell button to get the updated videos see you next videos